Hey, Mark Kassler, and thank you for joining me on this edition of Outside the Oval, a special feature that we bring you uh, periodically throughout the racing season. We'll keep you up to date on all the happenings, what's coming up, and so on. I'd like to, uh, here in the midweek, take a look at uh, what happened this past weekend around the area at the various tracks and also some big events coming up, and even give you some updates on some race teams uh, that you're familiar with. First of all, let's stop, uh, uh, take a look here at I-90 Speedway at Hartford. This past uh, Saturday night, the Midwest Sprint Touring Series made their stop at I-90 Speedway. And a driver out of North Dakota, Lee Gross, started on the front row and uh, drove to the win. His, uh, his second Midwest Sprint Touring Series victory this season. Shane Fick won in the 305 Sprint Cars. Zach Van Borst won the Street Stocks. Thor Anderson in the B Mods. Dustin Gobronson, he had a couple wins this weekend. He got the win there on, in the Hobby Stocks. Tim Coster won the Superchargers at Hartford at Saturday night. Houston Speedway, Sunday night, uh, rain out. Uh, rain came down hard on Sunday. We welcome the rain, and we're set to go with action there this coming Sunday night with the Outlaw Sprint still to open their season. They'll do that Sunday night at Houston Speedway this week. Rapid Speedway at Rock Rapids, Iowa. I mentioned Dustin Gobronson, a couple wins in the Hobby Stocks. He got one over there at Rocky. John DeBoer won the USRA Stock Cars. Maya Christensen was a winner in the B-Mods, and Brian Kroon won the Sportsman. Now next up at Rapid Speedway, the Midwest Spread Touring Series will be there on Friday night. Now, this coming Saturday, a uh, sprint car race to mention at Park Jefferson uh, Speedway. The North-South uh, Shootout, the Midwest Sprint Touring Series Sprint Cars, will be against the Nebraska Sprint Car Series. An interesting matchup, two series racing at one speedway on Saturday night at Park Jefferson. I want to give you an update on Mark Dobmeyer, multi-time champion at Houston Speedway, and for several years, seven seasons in all, he drove the Sioux Falls-based uh, car owned by Dave Lundstra. Well, that team split up after the... Uh, 2014 racing season and and they they split uh, on good terms are still friends but uh, it's it's really hard to see a very successful team like car owner Dave Lundstra and driver Mark Mark Dobmeyer split up Dobmeyer now with the Jimco Motorsports number 13 team his new team uh, they're on their game this past weekend two National Sprint League events they got fourth at Eagle Raceway in Nebraska and a sixth place at Knoxville. Coming up for Dobmeyer and his team, uh, Friday night they'll be at a $5,000 to win race in Illinois at Jacksonville Speedway. Uh, it's a tight bull ring there. And then they'll be at Knoxville Saturday night. Then they'll race Houston Speedway this Sunday night. So your chance to see uh, Mark Dobmeyer and his new team uh, Sunday night at Houston Speedway. The guy that took over driving for Dave Lundstra now is Tim Kading out of California. He's a new driver for car owner Dave Lundstra for the car based out of Sioux Falls. Now this team scored two top fives in National Sprint League action this past weekend. And uh, we'll see them Sunday night at Houston Speedway. That'll be exciting. Uh, peek at the World of Outlaws. They're heading out east. They'll be out in uh, central Pennsylvania this week. And more on recapping National Sprint League action. It was Brad Loyett out of Sunset Hill, Missouri winning at Eagle Raceway in Nebraska this past Friday night and Saturday night at Knoxville, Danny Lasoski took the win and Lasoski leads the National Sprint League points after three races and that's where uh, Terry McCarroll was injured. We had an update for you there uh, earlier in the week. In, in case you missed it, uh, Terry McCarroll uh, injured in the crash that took place in that 25 lap feature at Knoxville Raceway this past Saturday night National Sprint League event. McCarl started on the second row and one lap completed. Something broke on his car. Uh, uh, word has it a steering arm. His car was out of control completely. He kept the car on its wheels. He never tipped over. And he brought it to a stop, but not a very good one. He was at a very dangerous position, setting sideways in turn one with the left side of the car facing the oncoming traffic. And that's where uh, Brad Loyett, who was running deep in the field, currently he was running an 18th came into McCarl, hit him in the most unprotected part of the car, right between the, the cockpit and the rear wheel on the left side. And uh, Terry McCarl fractured a, an L4 vertebrae. Uh, his return to racing is unknown. Uh, typically an injury like that will keep a, a driver out for one month to one year. We're still waiting word on Terry's return to racing. He's out of the hospital. He's at home, and we wish him the best. 
That's a recap from uh, the past racing and what's coming up. Join me for more throughout the season with more Outside the Oval action. That's where I live. I'm Mark Dassler.